In the town of Stepford, the men are getting exactly what they always dreamed of, perfect wives. And the dream is becoming a nightmare for the Stepford wives. A very modern suspense story from the author of Rosemary's Baby. The Stepford wives about what men can do behind closed doors. Uh, they were telling me about the men's association. Right now, it's strictly men only. Not to mention that creepy men's association. We moved here about two months ago, and Ed joins this men's association. Anything that gets him out of the house nights is fine with me. I like to watch women doing little domestic chores. You came to the right town. I want to please him now. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. It took me so long to get the upstairs floor to shine. Charmaine's changed, Carol Van Zandt's changed, and so have all those other women's club members. I'm getting the hell out of Stepford. Bobby, it's gotten to you now. I just want to look like a woman. And you're not going to leave Stepford either, are you? Leave Stepford? Charmaine changed. Carol Van Zandt changed. She's changed! And stop telling me I'm crazy! You see somebody, you get some help, you, you see a psychiatrist. I think the men in the association are behind it. And my time is coming! <laughs> Everybody's out looking for me, so don't panic. Where are they? Charmaine changed. Bobby changed. And my time is coming. Columbia Pictures and Palomar Pictures present Catherine Ross and Paula Prentice in The Stepford Wives. Oh, no. A very modern suspense story from the author of Rosemary's Baby, rated PG.